Hi everybody, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I've decided to uh, do a week uh, a, a card for each day during the week and I'm ch uh, also doing three cards uh, for the beginning of the week, the end of the week a middle of the week and the end of the week and then you can choose either one, two or three uh, with each card for each day during the week um, and I think uh, this will be better because I can't guarantee that I have a, a, a video for every day and this way I can guarantee that you have a video and a card for each day of the week. We're going to start with the overall energy and the overall energy for the week does mean new beginnings and this is coming back in the readings for coming week which are already out and we've got number 17 which is 8 so there might be more money coming in um, you also because it's the money house and the inheritance house and the strength house you will be standing in your strength if you make the right decisions of course and if you take action and if you don't know what to decide then ask for advice from somebody that you respect okay could be your father could be your mother it could be your partner or a, a, a teacher anybody that's mature if you're a younger person or mature person We've got the Queen of Hearts there as well, and that's the cartomancy side of the Lenemon. Um, the Queen of Hearts, of course, means the Queen of Cups, and wow, we've got the Sun underneath this. So um, I'm just taking the bottom of the card, but it's definitely a very positive energy next week. The Storks in the Lenemon means, obviously, a birth. This could be of a child or a new job, a new project, a new beginning. You could be moving home, okay? You could be moving home as well. And there will be a 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or an issue or a question. If you say, um, uh, are they going to offer... Uh, are they going to accept the offer on the house if you're buying a, ha a house for instance yes they will because this is the moving card and if they first said no then now it will become yes there will be a turn around in decisions for example okay now we're going to start with Saturday and on Saturday we have the sarcophagus or the coffin again number eight so you are already in your power today and that's the 11th of July um, we've got the nine of Pentacles okay like I said it's the money house okay and the strength house so nine of Pentacles means that you might be receiving news or that you already have received money um, or that you've already already know that you have this job now the sarcophagus the coffin means transformation you are leaving an old period behind that is what the coffin means and the nine and uh, you have finished with a phase you are in trans uh, transformation mode you are going into a new beginning wow that's great news for Saturday the 11th then Sunday the 12th of July you have again a 9 definitely there is an ending this week okay where there is an ending there is a new beginning or in the weekend rather that's the energy and a new beginning new beginnings new beginnings endings and new beginnings you've got two nines uh, next door to each other <coughs> you, you might be receiving a gift it could be as, be as simple as a bunch of flowers okay um, and you, you might be uh, well I don't know I just um, it doesn't mean that but that you're getting a visitor but I think that when you get a bunch of flowers I think somebody will give it to you so you might even um, be receiving them by the delivery boy uh, from the flower stall or shop but it could also be given by a visitor Wow, and you've got the Queen of Swords, so you might be meeting up with an air sign, 
and the Queen of Swords is Libra, but don't forget uh, Gemini or Aquarian. So you might be meeting up or meeting with an Aquarian. Well, and they might be giving you a bunch of flowers. Something will become clear as the Queen of um, Swords clubs um, always seeks information. Perhaps you need to seek information uh, about this move or buying this house, and you've got nine nine sorry nine nine next to each other, and so the angels are with you. That is eighteen, and eight, eight, uh, eighteen becomes also a nine, and you're moving up from an eight to a nine. That's this weekend. Then on Monday the thirteenth you have the book. Wow, like I said, you are getting clarity. The Queen of Swords wants to be clear, wants to get everything exactly done correctly, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, getting the information, cutting straight through to the core to get justice or clarity and the truth. Well, they are things that you don't know so you might be, that's what the book means, secrets, but secrets will be revealed. You might have to do some more research, uh, like I said, because you've got the Queen of Swords. Now here you've got the Ten of Pentacles. It might be with regards to money, it might be with regards to a job. You know what situation resonates with you, um, but you might also start a new study. And we've got a clock on the book which is really a lock so secrets won't be hidden for you anymore if you start a new study it might be time to start a new study and you will get gain knowledge and that is what the Queen of Swords wants and is eager to they are always eager to learn if you're not a Gemini you might be taking a page or Libra you might be taking a page out of their book trying to find information, learn something, being eager about to learn about something. Again, 26 is an 8, so you've got 8, 8, 9, 9. Wow, these double numbers do play significantly. And the 10 of Pentacles, of course, means that you might be getting an inheritance, a gift, a grant, anything like that, or you might get a scratch card and win money. That's what the Ten of Diamonds, Pentacles means. And of course, happy families. Family reunions as well. Okay, on Tuesday the 14th, you have a nine again, 36. Okay, and you have the um, Six of Clubs. The Six of Clover, the Six of Clubs, the Six of Fire. So, yes, the Six of clubs also means going on holiday moving home victory is yours promotions you've got recognition from the community from the public perhaps from a, uh, a purpose perspective um, employer or from the employer and that means um, that means that you've got recognition and um, uh, they are seeing you for who you are and what you can do so come out of your head on Tuesday and trust yourself and have faith in yourself as others do you've got the public recognition so believe it and act upon it have faith and trust because and you know it you might be at a crossroads okay and this if I look into this this picture more deeply it looks like the crossroads and it looks like the um, the eight of diamonds here and the eight of diamonds here the club cards I don't know I, have, I always see things and I've got this deck yonks and yonks and yonks years and years and now I'm s interpreting that so the six of um, uh, pentacles six and six is uh, 12 and six is 18 and 18 becomes a 9 so there is an ending again a 9 new beginnings so 9 and 10 8 9 10 is significant also an ending new beginning recognition success victory on Wednesday 
the uh, 15th um, you have the snake. If you are signing contracts then be careful. There is a snake in the grass, look at the small print and be aware, forewarned is forearmed. No, be as strong as the Queen of Clubs, the Queen of Clover, the Queen of Fire. The, the Queen of Fire, that is Leo, so it could be a Leo, but don't exclude Sagittarius or Aries. They're, they might want to force something upon you, or they might be the one that's warning you about an unexpected snake in the grass. But the snake re, um, refreshes or renews his skin, I think, every six weeks or six months. I'm not quite sure. So don't hold me on that. But you also see the snake in medical signs, okay? So on Wednesday, there might be some... You might be careful that you don't in, injure yourself or fall down or burn yourself with making a cup of coffee. So there might be something medical uh, happening as well on Wednesday, a little thing. Uh, there might be uh, also, hang on a minute, I'm hearing things. And it's um, a bit garbled. So, uh, okay, okay. So, uh, take it easy on Wednesday if you can. Don't, don't force into things straight away. Um, don't lose your head over it. The Queen of Wands, um, she's a strong woman, but sometimes, you know, strong people do get sick. So take care of your needs and of your health. Go out into the garden and, 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 and the sunshine and take it easy. That is what I'm saying. Don't push yourself like the Queen of Swords, uh, Queen of Wands, okay? The Queen of Wands is logical, and if you say to her, you know, you're not feeling well, you've done too much of late, there's too many changes, blah, 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 then she will see that this is the truth, and that it's a wake-up call for your health. So be careful, okay? Be careful. Stay away from uh, infected areas with the COVID or whatever. Don't... Uh, crowd that's what I'm seeing I'm doing this um, and they're saying you're a champion but don't stay stay away from the crowds don't get involved with uh, negative people or negative situations stay away it's better for your health then we have on Thursday again there might be somebody that is wearing a mask we've got number four uh, luck is on your side by the way so this is a warning that is your luck and there could be a queen of uh, ones could be uh, negative on the, uh, meant as a negative thing or a positive thing and I rather take the positive side be warned of uh, somebody being slithery and not uh, right and then we've got the mask the mask is all the four signs it can be anyone in other words this is an additional because this is the extended uh, Lenormand uh, so it could be anybody at all that is what the four signs mean to me it could be a fire sign it could be an earth sign it could be a water sign and it could be a, a fire sign okay so four means stability you've been warned beforehand forewarned is forearmed and this will you are stable, you are in your strength with all these eights and nines. So just be aware. Somebody might not be vi be well. It could be a queen uh, around you. Um, and it could be anybody. A queen of any sort. It could be a lady. The cards don't aren't sexist and are not racist okay so um it could be anybody around you that's wearing a mask it could be a friend or a family member that could not be feeling very well or being sly and they're pretending they like you and they are helping you so be aware on wednesday and thursday if this is not you if you're not feeling well then go to the doctor okay and make sure that you don't have to wear a mask. 
uh, on Friday we have the moon and we've got 32 32 means that you might be out of balance okay that's a five and we've again we've got an eight the eight of cups you might be bored you might want adventure and excitement well if you are not feeling very well because that is what I'm hearing and seeing uh, then then you can't and if you want to if you want to go on holiday it, it might not be the wise thing to go this weekend first take a rest stay at home and take a rest wow you know don't throw old shoes away don't throw old shoes away before you've got new ones there are things you don't know okay the same with the snake there are things that you don't know if you're signing contracts look at the small print if you're traveling then make sure that all the documents are in order be strategic like the Queen of Wands okay now we've got all the faces of the moon here so you uh, we are going uh, what was it we are going into Leo next month uh, on uh, yeah we are going into Leo on the 20th 21st depending where you are usually it's the 21st of the month so energy is changing at the end of the week you might feel more emotional you might be feeling more sensitive and that's what's not fe making you feel jovial but the moon also means that you are on the right path because it shines light on your path to your northern note okay look at that star and it's the first time I'm seeing it there's all stars everywhere but this is the green star and green is the northern star but also green means healing healing so take time to heal yourself if you've got a cold or if you've uh, got an allergy then take it easy and go to the GP you will find out what will be if you take if you undergo research and you do your research at the beginning and at the end of the week you might discover that you might be an, uh, allergic to cut grass who knows or to the moon phases or um, that you're highly sensitive that is what you might be uh, discovering you're more emotional okay you could meet up with a Pisces this could also be a Pisces the moon does represent Pisces okay it's got the eight of hearts it doesn't uh, it hasn't got the uh, page of hearts because that is Pisces as well um, perhaps you might get information from about a Pisces or from a Pisces or the Queen of Wands right perhaps they were they were the one that weren't feeling very well because they might have been sick with jealousy about you who knows you might be finding something out okay now if you've chosen this is the big arcana and um, you can take it all three cards like the beginning the middle and the end of the week or you can take it as an additional card to each of your other cards and this could be the card for if like I say you come in on Monday and you choose number one the number one will be also your card for Tuesday and see whether you want to chop and change <laughs> okay so the first card is the hermit wow and I was just taking talking about health here so if you need to f pull away and um, take a quiet moment for yourself do so you've got the hermit so that could be a Virgo around you that could be interested in you that might be, uh, be giving you the recognition with the six of clover okay or a gift of money or give you a job it could be a Virgo but Virgo also means um, the herb uh, the herm this is the hermit so Virgo is the hermit the hermit means also 
taking time out to take rests, to recuperate, or take a step back and to get all the ducks in a row. So meditate and contemplate and evaluate on how to, what to, which step you're going to take next. Especially with all these new beginnings and you are climbing up, eight, nine, ten, boom. You are very busy this week. So make sure you get your rest so that you don't get ill and that you don't have to pretend that you're happy when you're not, okay? Be open and true to yourself. Take action. Get a different perspective. You've got the eagle here. Look at yourself and look at your inner self. That is what a meditation and contemplation and the hermit does as well. Throw away what is of no use to you. You uh, d you will gain knowledge and you always do gain knowledge every single day. Um, whether you're, you're, you're traveling your life's journey here, but you could literally be traveling for holiday or moving home. Okay, moving home is here, right. This is travel okay or moving home and the hermit always is on a life journey it could it can be a spiritual journey but it could also be a physical journey so uh, if you are journeying then make sure that your papers are in order and that you know all the rules and regulations if you have to go into another state or into another country whether you uh, have to wear m m uh, f face masks or other masks okay make sure that you know that you've got your mask with you if you are going to a crowded area now if you've chosen two then you have the strength card now look at that the strength card and the strength card means leo so there could be a leo that um has an eye on you you're being recognized okay now when I, I see all these hands right men then I get this the first thing that I uh, I thought and heard literally heard many hands make light work now we've got the light hands we've got the dark hands and we've got other hands so grab your chance that is also what I am hearing grab your uh, grab your uh, chance to take your rest okay the lion rests and he lets others do the work that's <laughs> so delegate look what everybody else is doing perhaps that could be an example for you perhaps that will resonate with you but the strength card is also the eight, right? It's usually also the eighth card. Eight. Eight. There you go. So that number eight is repetitive. Again, eight all over energy from the week. So Wednesday, if you choose number two, could be quite significant strength for everybody this week. But if you've chosen number two, then that will be more significant for you. So we've got August and September here, because that is also the eighth and the ninth month. If you are uh, expecting something, or if you are trying to do something, and you're, ex you're waiting for a parcel, for instance, perhaps it might not come now, because uh, the parcel service is so busy because of the COVID and there are big delays and then we have the fall and the fall is nobody because the fall represents no beginning and no ending and that's a beautiful message with the hermit it's not where you start or where you finish it's what you do in your on your life's journey how do you cope with life how do you tackle things that is what counts and with the fall I've got the birds here the dark and light side and we've all got eyes everywhere so yes somebody or lots of people might be um, watching you on how you cope with life 
and that is why you get your recognition all these eyes perhaps you might be a teacher and you might be showing your pupils who are watching you what to do and how to learn and to take that leap of faith okay the fool means take a leap of faith and show other people to let your inner child come out and be playful and learn in a playful manner um, and succeed okay don't just sit around and worry and don't look at what you don't have go out there jump into action and take that leap of faith and have faith in yourself as others do right absolutely amazing beautiful week ahead definitely nothing really negative it is a beautiful week ahead so enjoy next week and um, watch this video back you can l download it or you can come back to it it will still be there because I'll I'm leaving it up and if you need some support and if you f um, want an answer with regarding perhaps this uh, uh, general weekly reading will help you and advise you in some way have a beautiful week next week and I hope to see you in the life on Monday Wednesday and uh, I hope to go out on Friday but that's depending on my visit to the hospital next week Thursday so at least I know that uh, you uh, I am uh, I've done my readings for you and not left you in the lurch and I'm taking you with me my cyber angels in my heart and don't worry and I'll be here if you need to contact me please send me an email the email is below the video in the description box and also in the right hand corner sorry right hand I think that's the right hand corner for you in the white circle stay take care stay safe and please like and share thank you for all your sharing and likes love you and please check whether you're subscribed because YouTube is um, dissolving members so make sure that you are still registered to your favorite channels it doesn't have, <laughs> please register with my or sub mine uh, but make sure that if you follow anybody else that you are not uh, dissolved because I've got one of my beautiful cyber angels uh, I can't find them and I'm busy sending them an email saying um, I, I can't find you okay take care and uh, just click on sub and like take care bye bye